Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Optimism, the optimistic rollup for Ethereum, one of the biggest layer twos out there. So we're going to take a look at the top projects, altcoins, and some meme coins, even though there aren't that many out there on Optimism. But before we do, if you guys don't mind hitting that thumbs up down below if you enjoy the video, and if you want more content like this for airdrops, memes, NFTs, crypto news, all that good stuff, hit that subscribe button. Okay, so over here we've got DeFi Llama up and I've been watching this uh, for a bit now and Optimism is number four right behind Blast now with 11% of the roll up pie. So 848 million essentially in TVL. So we'll dive into this. We'll look at the projects, um, kind of see their DeFi Llama page, look at the projects page and then look at any coins if they have them. And we'll just kind of go through them just so you guys can get introduced to them. Not big deep dives on any of them, but if you do, if, if optimism starts really picking up, you guys will have a head start on what's there, or at least you'll know where to look if you want to start investing into optimism before that happens. So optimism right here on DeFi Llama, you can see uh, pretty good. They've been around for a while too, 2021 or 2022. Uh, well, 2021, I guess. Uh, anyway, um, TVL has been up and down, but more or less on the rise. So biggest projects, then synthetics, velodrome, Probably the biggest one, uh, two that you guys know of. Ave is also located here. We got Uniswap here, of course. Stargate as well. Sone Finance, pretty big. Extra Finance, Beefies here. Uh, we're going to be checking out most of the single to one to two, three, give or take uh, chains. Um, skipping the big ones like Ave or Uniswap because you can. You guys probably know enough about those. More specific to um, Optimism is what I want to target for these. Uh, but going down, Terret. Terret's pretty big even on here. Um, you guys can see the TVL is pretty big for a while. We hit a million all the way up to 44 and then uh, we keep on going. So there's a lot going on here on Optimism. It is one of the older layer twos. So uh, that makes sense. So we're going to kick it off here. Uh, kind of out of order with number two first. It's Velodrome because I think they're probably the ones making the most noise. So TVL has kind of been flat, but in the last, in 2024 for sure, it's been on the rise. And that'll show with the chart here. But we're gonna look at their website first. So a standard, basically uh, a finance DeFi DEX website here. So you can swap, uh, you can get some of your meme coins here, your 2192, um, what else, I think High was here. So there, there's a few meme coins here. There's a lot of regular projects. You got Frax, um, I think there was Rap Bitcoin, Kuji's here, Kujira. So you can get some, some pretty big coins here, Trade Optimism, of course. Uh, yeah, so all that good stuff. Uh, the Velo token as well, and uh, the, some Zoomer coin. So they've, they've got a little bit of everything here on Velodrome. Uh, really easy to swap here, just, just very clean website. You can put deposit liquidity, Provide the LPs, all that good stuff, just just like a standard DEX or AMM. Uh, the Velo token has been absolutely crazy lately. So we'll go back to a year. That's their full chart. We were coming down a bit, leveled out here at the end of uh, basically the bottom of crypto winter, September, October, right, of 2023. Sure felt like the bottom anyway. Uh, depends on your coin, I suppose, or token. Anyway, bottomed out, really stayed flat, and then just shot up. So... Uh, Basically, uh, Dencoon upgrade came out March 12th, I think it was, and kind of had a rally on that. March 12th comes out, and then boom, Velodrome is just on fire. Cooling off right now, which is to be expected after that kind of a, a pump. Went from under, went from about eight cents, really if we want to go lower, we could say about four cents up to uh, nearly 40 cents, so almost a 10x. So yeah, you're going to cool down just a little bit. Uh, sitting at right about 20 cents right now. It looks like 19 at the time of the uh, video recording here. So uh, I think Velodrome is going to do well, uh, especially when Aerodrome does well. I think people kind of correlate the two for you know obvious naming reasons, uh, whether they're related in any fashion, way, way shape, or form. Uh, no, but the name, right? So uh, Synthetics, next. Now this is a... Uh, uh, they had a lot more... And, and they're multi-chain here, as you guys can see. Um, a few of them that we're covering are uh, basically Ethereum mainnet and, and Optimism. But they found their home on Optimism, more or less, I think, with what's going on on the Layer 2s these days. Uh, anyway, uh, TVL, pretty good here. Came down, but we're on the rise again. And we'll go to their website here. So you can... Basically, you're providing liquidity for these perpetuals and, and all, the, all the futures trading, all that kind of stuff. Um, 
you can bring in your whatever asset you want to provide, right? And you can actually earn yield on that by staking it with them and then uh, providing liquidity for, for all these trades. So uh, pretty, pretty big project, to be honest. Uh, pretty popular. Uh, if you guys don't remember, they were number one here on the TVL ranking. So the uh, SNX coin, Synthetix coin, uh, or token, I should say, real hot when that TVL was was up high right here, right? So price correlates with that. It's been, it's uh, honestly, the, the, look at that, the charts look very similar. Not, not a surprise to anyone, I hope. Um, we've been cooling off. This was the bull run. We could see this coming up again. Uh, these kind of projects do very well in bull runs. So $5 here from a low of about, uh, just under two dollars in October, so that's a, a pretty good uh, two and a half x increase. We're back down to two eighty five though, uh, cooled off quite a bit here. Um, again, Bitcoin's been coming down the bull market. I don't even think we're in a bull market yet, but the crypto market's kind of slowed down a little bit, and when it picks back up, this is probably going to shoot right back up with it because that's that's just how these kind of projects go for uh, providing liquidity and for perps trading and all that kind of stuff. So. Watch synthetics, don't count them out. Uh, they're they're uh, top 100 coin, so uh, pay attention. Uh, so we have Sone Finance next. So kind of, uh, uh, not sure how that's still up. Uh, lending, borrowing assets, right? So um, a lending play, basically. Now, uh, pretty good, pretty decent, pretty simple uh, to use project here, uh, app. You can get some pretty good yields here, it looks like. What's that, 6% on USDC, so it beats some of the, the major uh, Coinbase and whatnot, sexes and all that. So, uh, let's see what the reward. So, okay, so borrow, APY. It's just trying to see what their highest one is. Oh, so LUSD, 21%, that is pretty high. Um, it looks like the synthetic token, the SNX token, will get you the best yield at 14.3% if you're uh, lending. Um, what do we got? Yeah, so cool. All right. Uh, let's see here. That's their max chart. Let's go to a year. Uh, up and down. Again, spiked with Bitcoin really uh, in the layer two narrative here, I think, and then cooled off as Bitcoin came down. So. Um, th these also do fairly well in a bull market, so pay attention to Sone. And uh, let's go back to the max chart. Yeah, they've been around since 2022, so not not a whole lot to to say here. But they have had their their spikes up, so I'd anticipate another one of these. Uh, this was actually in the bear market, so th there's all this is bear market. So you have to see what they'll do in a bear market or a bull market, excuse me. But I think they'll do fairly well. And they're not a huge project by market cap, so they've got some room to move up. Um, let's see. So Beethoven here. This is multi-chain DEX with Phantom, I believe, is the other chain. Uh, TVL, pretty popular or pretty high back in 2022, and it's kind of dropped off since then. But that might, that might mean there's a good buying opportunity here. So you can use Optimism or Phantom. Uh, so kind of already has a start in Phantom, and Phantom's been pretty pretty hot lately too. Uh, you can trade a few coins here, a, a good amount, uh, not quite as much as Velodrome, but there are uh, several coins here. So uh, I guess maybe maybe one of the, the higher up competitors to Velodrome as far as more chain specific, uh, obviously Uniswap's out there, and Uniswap's just killing it lately. But um, token here, look at this, token's been pretty dead lately launched in the bear market. So of course we're gonna see a, a pretty big drop there. If we go to the yearly chart, we see a little different picture picking up. And if we just go to three months here, you can see a, a much better look in uh, recent history. Uh, cooling off lately again, Bitcoin kinda has been cooling off. So kinda just happens in the crypto market. But um, beats uh, a pretty small ranked uh, by market cap decks. So something to watch out for. And they are, they are fairly easy to use too. Uh, next, we got Perpetual Protocol, which you guys have probably heard of, right? Perp token. Uh, TVL has actually been on the decline here as well. So looking at derivatives yet again. Um, let's see if I can get this to load. Not sure what happened to it there. Um, so you can trade all, all your good stuff here. Uh, looks like, are they 10x? Yeah, 10x leverage here. And we'll look at their token. Pretty, 
pretty quiet here. So this is the bull run. Uh, let's see when we peaked here. So we actually peaked. This is the second peak. Uh, peaked in the summer, kind of between the two two uh, Bitcoin peaks. That's interesting. But either way, bull run price, pretty good. Over $20. They're sitting at a dollar now. So if they even got that, just reclaim their old all-time high. That's a 20x right now from where they're sitting. So let's look at a yearly chart. And you can see, yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm again, a big correction here just with Bitcoin coming down. It, this is this is pretty common in all the charts that you're going to see in the video right now. Um, so I think uh, perpetuals, like I said, are a pretty good bull run project. Um, you get in low and these things are probably going to start pumping because people get a little silly with their money when you're in a bull run. So, And they make a ton of money. Perps make a ton of money. So that's the perp token. And then uh, next we got some... I, this is kind of an all-encompassing NFT. I just want to point it out here. I, I, I didn't want to go through a bunch of stuff, but there were some NFTs here in the center. You guys can follow Layer 2 Hub if you want uh, to see more projects like this, infographs on projects like this. Uh, Aptimism, Optipunks, Optichad. So they, they got a decent little NFT uh, culture here. As far as memes, there weren't a ton of them. Um, Magical Tux seems to be one of the bigger ones. Um, none of them are really that old on here. Uh, there, there are a few cross-chain memes, but I don't want to point those out. Uh, Magical Tux seems like it was doing the best too. And then we had Let's Get High, uh, H-A-I. Um, kind of just flatlining, to be honest. Up and down, up and down, but still really stuck in a channel here. So uh, I did want to point out a couple notables here. Top gainers. This was from last week, at, at least the time of recording this video. Um, some top gainers for optimism. So uh, you had uh, hand identity, dope wars, pull together, M stable, reunit, wallet, Osaka protocol, Quino, Pendle, own the Doge, Synapse Lab. So some of those are multi-chain, of course, but something you guys might want to look into. I didn't pull any of these up, so I did think they were worth showing. And you guys can find some, some good stats like this from Layer 2 Hub. So anyway, that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. Hopefully you got some introduction into some of the projects here. And I might do deep dives on some of them like Velodrome or Synthetics or something in the future or revisit, revisit uh, Optimism if they start kicking off. But if they do, you guys have this video to fall back on just to check out some of the older projects that have been doing well and uh, maybe start your investment research there. So, okay. And if this was helpful for you guys, please hit that thumbs up down below. And if you want more content like this for NFT memes, airdrops, um, altcoin alpha, crypto news, all that good stuff, hit that subscribe button down below. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.